You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike, and this is the Belroy Note Taker. This is going to be a ballpoint pen with a uh, with a knock. You can see that the knock is going to be off color from the body from this nice packaging. Good style. Belroy has great style. Uh, the folks behind Belroy are also the folks behind the blog Carryology, which looks at backpacks and messengers and wallets and all the stuff that one would carry with them. And then 10 or 11 years ago, they said, well, we should start making some stuff. And so they started making wallets and that sort of thing under the, uh, the tagline Bel Belroy. They also have expanded into bags and backpacks and messengers and notebook covers and all the things that one would carry with them. And Bel Belroy has a really solid reputation as far as I can tell. I have not gotten to try their bags yet. But somebody on a live stream said, hey Mike, you should check out their pen. I said, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll check that out. So we have today the Belroy Note Taker. I don't know how long ago this was introduced to the market. It's uh, I hadn't seen it until a few weeks ago. But uh, I knew as soon as I saw it, this is probably something that I needed to put in my collection. So let's get inside here you can see already this packaging is uh is very is very on brand for mike i think also my friend brad the pen and dowdy would approve of this gray and orange motif it's good stuff on the back it says the note taker a refined pen that's slim enough to take everywhere totally true has a three-year warranty which is pretty nice designed in australia made in taiwan uh, they are an Australian group of folks. Now, here inside the packaging, you see that they have uh, no styrofoam or anything like that. This is um, this is shaped, uh, corrugated like cardboard stuff in here. Uh, it's definitely it's not it's not soft or anything. It definitely can take a bit of a beating, and it keeps the pen from from doing too much moving around. You can feel it like rattle a little bit. But when I got it, this was um, uh, you know, had sustained no damage of any kind, and I think this is pretty good packaging. Uh, the reason I point that out is because they are a B Corp, and so they are um, they are working for environmental sustainability and other related things, and uh, I like that in a company. All right, so you can see right off that this pen is definitely right up Mike's alley. Black pen, orange knock, white uh, white accents. It reminds me a little bit of the, uh, the tactile turn safety first, or the machine era field pin twist, both of which rock this black and orange aesthetic, which I dig quite a lot. Looking at my desk, there's plenty of black and orange here. You know this is a pen I had to get. And at $29, this pen is, I think, well-priced. It is aluminum and it is ceramic anodized, which is pretty neat. I uh, I like a thing that has some ceramic in it. I mean, these are Cerakoted and that kind of thing. And I dig that, so is this, uh, this Mark I from um, Studio Neat, got that Sarah coat. But this is ceramic anodized, which is something you usually see on uh, things like cookware and such that needs to take a beating and uh, and perform well. And so I have every uh, confidence that this will as well. I've had it for, I don't know, a week or so, I guess, at this point. I don't go very many places, but uh, this hasn't sustained any kind of damage. And I was just traveling this last week. Uh, this is a pen that I'll stick in a pocket and I, I don't really worry about it. So take a brief look at this pen on uh, the clip the thing that stands out the mo out the most is probably that the body has this matte look to it and the clip is as you can see there very shiny it is polished and then here we have the uh, the Belroy name which I don't mind at all I think it actually kind of is a nice uh, nice addition here uh, I mean if this is in your pocket and all you're seeing is this bit then uh, yeah you're gonna see that Belroy name and that's uh, that's fine I don't, I don't really mind that at all I think it's tasteful uh, that's about the only real branding on the pen, aside from the top where they have the Belroy Owl. There we go. There's the owl. Look at that. I think that's cool. I really dig this aluminum knot or this uh, orange knock they have here, and I like the little white owl in it. I would be perfectly fine if they just did the owl, but I also totally get why they would put their name on it. I think it really, uh, I think it really stands out on this pen, and I dig it. All right, so uh, as I said, the body is a little bit on the matte side. It doesn't have much of a texture, but it does have a little something. There's a little bit of texture there that makes it easy to hold on to. Uh, this is a pen that I've done some, I've done a little bit of writing with. Not a huge amount, but I've got a feel for this thing. It is on the thinner side, as you can see next to things like the tactile turn side click, or the uh, the field pen twist, which are uh, quite a lot thicker. It's uh, definitely a little bit on the skinnier side, which is good for carrying around. It will fit in all kinds of pockets and all that sort of thing, but it's not as thin as, say, um, like this little tiny <laughs> fountain pen grip. So a uh, very comfortable pen to, to carry around, I think. All right. The knock on this is pretty darn satisfying. It's got a good sound. Bring in my microphone here. Not bad, huh? 
I think it sounds... I think it sounds pretty good. It's got a very affirmative click, and it's always got the uh, the long knock. It doesn't. Have, it's not one of those pens that you click it in. And it's very short, right? So, uh, works very well. However, it doesn't have the uh, the amount of click as say a, uh, a Studio Neat Mark One, which has got a positively percussive click, uh, but uh, nonetheless very satisfying. I think. All right, now, I don't know what the uh, the knock mechanism is in here because I can't actually take this apart. I haven't been able to find a way to, to get in there, but that's okay. You don't need to take apart every pen, Mike. I know, I know, but I want to. All right, so we take this off. You got the nose cone. This is a pretty standard situation. Nothing weird going on there. But you can see that the ceramic anodization just covers everything. It's not like a Cerakote that's sprayed on. This is a... This is like a chemical electrical process as far as I understand anodization. Then you take this out, it has a Parker style refill and they go with the Schmidt P900 medium, which is a perfectly cromulent uh, ballpoint refill. As we'll see here, I'll do a little scribbling with it. I think it's a perfectly good refill. I, I like it. It's not my favorite, but I do like it. My favorite, of course, is the Jetstream in this style, but you can switch this out with a bunch of other things because this is a very common size and style. Now, it comes with uh, this little spring, which you can see is uh, smaller on one end than the other. Put the small end uh, on first so it, is, uh, so it is up here. That's just kind of, that's the best way to do it, I think. Then, you'll notice here that there is a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of tape right there around the, around the nose or around the... I don't know, kind of right here. That's where the tape is. And that's because you do get a little bit of tip rattle with this pen. I found that this pen, along with lots of others, I mean, Retro 51 has this, lots of pens have a little bit of tip rattle, and I don't care for it. Uh, and that's, a tip rattle is that thing where you're writing, and on some strokes it'll go click, 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 because it's not quite... Uh, flush here and so it lets this tip just move a little bit if you just straps like wrap like half a half a piece of tape I take a piece of tape like a like a scotch tape and I just like take out I just bring off a little little, little bit and then I'll like cut it in half and just wrap that around there and it will uh, dampen that and you won't have tip rattle anymore and that works with most pens uh, so no problem at all there but it's not super uncommon in a pen with a metal body or a metal nose cone and then a metal uh, you know uh, refill there it's it's it can click and it doesn't click in every position so like I found that if I rotated it around it was uh, it was stronger in one position than another and I imagine that's because as you as you click this it rotates the refill in there and uh, it's gonna have a little more tension on one side than the other now I don't know exactly what's going on in here with this uh, with this mechanism you can see it there spinning Seems to be pretty standard. Also seems like it's got a plastic uh, plastic piece up in there, which is not a problem. This is unlikely to fail, but uh, it's not all metal like, you know, the real honking one in this thing. This is this is over-designed, I think, and that's why this pen costs a lot more than the $29 the Bellroy does because there's a lot more, you know, metal and stuff. But, uh, yeah, this works really well. So let's give it a little bit of a writing sample. Put this back in there. Put the nose cone on. Hasn't failed once. I, I dig this pen. Okay, so this is the Bellroy. Note taker. Ballpoint. With a Schmidt 900. Medium. And uh, yeah, no skips or anything except for here where I lifted the, the pen off the uh, off the paper just a little bit as I was making that B, but no problems at all. Uh, this is, as I said, a perfectly good ballpoint refill, and these go for 29 bucks. You can buy them direct from Bellroy. I got mine from Amazon, uh, and uh, you know they're around. So I would say give this a try. The only, if I'm going to talk about cons here real quick, the only possible con for me is that I think this clip is a little bit on the uh, on the small side. I mean, if you compare it to the clips on the uh, the tactile turn or uh, or on this machine era twist. Uh, field pin twist. I also think this one's a little bit on the cheapy side, but uh, it's it's worked out very well and it hasn't lost any of its spring. Likewise, I was trying to to, to deform this clip and uh, it it doesn't. It snaps back. So it looks a little bit on the thin side, but it seems to work perfectly well. So I don't have any uh, real worry about this clip getting deformed. And it has that three year warranty, so it might be the sort of thing that's covered. I'm not really sure. So 
There you go. Will this pin last you three years? Yup, I bet it will. And it'll look darn good while doing so. This is a classy pin in this, uh, this black and uh, black and orange ceramic anodization. So, thanks very much for watching. Uh, enjoy uh, this video and many others on my channel. Hit that, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Click the bell. You know, do the YouTube stuff. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.